Hello you guys, Praxis here, and I'm going to be playing a little bit of Space Engine. So, without further ado, let's get started. Anyways, uh, we're at 91 subscribers. You guys are amazing. I am 9 away from getting to 100, so I might actually even hit it today. Or tomorrow. I don't know, very soon. Probably within the next 3 days though. So, that that's just astonishing. Like, <laughs> This channel has, like, grown very, very quickly. Like, within a month, I've hit 100 subs, and I don't think it's actually been, like, incrementally increasing, but, I mean, uh, like, a year ago, I was at 4, and then, like, within, like, the past month, I've gained, like, 85-ish? I don't know. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, as you can tell, I'm still over at this half-thawed nitrogen planet. The ID is up here. And, uh, yeah, I got a couple of, uh, requests here. So, one, two, three, four, five. I got about five requests here. So, let's start with Derp Sauce Gaming, the latest comment that I've gotten nine hours ago. And he wants to, me to visit this ID. So, let's go to this side. Wait, what? Okay, there we go. A warm terror with life. For a second there, I, th I th it was kind of fooling me. I thought I saw... Uh, oh. Oh. What? No. Oh, okay. That's the moon lighting up the planet. I was about to say, is there two stars around this thing? What is that? Is that a moon? Yeah, that's a moon. Okay. So we got a terror with life, but it has rings, a lovely shadow, and a not too far star. I'm gonna assume this is an orange dwarf. No, it's actually a yellow dwarf. Be cooler than our sun. No, oh, uh I guess not. Maybe. Uh no, it's, I think it's actually bigger. So that means this planet... No, the planet temperature is not that hot. Huh. Interesting. It's about halfway the distance between our Earth and our Sun, so I assume that's probably a smaller, or at least, less hot star. Isn't the Sun, like, around 5,000 degrees, or is it 9,000? I kind of forget. Hmm... Let's see. Let's just hit OK and it should tell me. Okay, so the sun's actually about the same temperature. The diameter, let's compare it. We have, uh, what is that? 1.3 million kilometers and this diameter is 1.2 million. Okay, so this is a little bit smaller than our sun. Nonetheless, let's check out the planet. So we have some kind of pinkish rings. I'm not sure if that actually shows up well in the video. They probably look gray in the video. But on my screen, these are a little bit pinkish. They're kind of a pink tint to them. And we have this really cool, really detailed looking uh, terror right here. And it looks like we have a bunch of snow caps. What are these? No? Oh, yeah, these are snow caps. There's kind of like snow areas all over it, probably because it's actually not that hot of a planet. It is about 29 degrees Celsius, which compared to our Earth, let's get this up on the screen. Our Earth is 11 degrees Celsius on average, so this is quite a bit warmer than our planet. Which, uh... <laughs> Our planet is over there. I didn't even notice we were not in the Milky Way. So there's the Milky Way. I don't know what galaxy we're actually in. I'll have to explore that after we're done looking at this planet. And can I center it in our vision? No, I just deselected it. Whatever. And uh, it looks like we kind of have these desert, like, layered canyons. Oh, we do, but they have, like, a completely different texture than they normally do for the uh, rocks. So it really does give them a completely different appearance. But 
yeah, it looks like uh, we have a lot of desert canyons over here. Uh, you may notice this in like kind of hot regions of Earth, like the uh, Sahara Desert, places like Arizona, whatever. Just generally hot areas, you'll you'll find this type of uh, kind of layered red, like sediment and stuff. It looks like we probably have yeah we have the uh, tall grass texture on top of uh, these mountains here. And what is that? Is that a volcano? No, it's just a big hill. Okay. And over here, it looks like we have something, some type of dark texture. Okay, so this is like the mossy kind of treetop, I don't know, texture. But it has like a lot of orange parts in it. Hmm. Again, I can't wait till, uh... And they actually work on the life in the uh, game and make things more detailed and stuff. And over here we kind of have a hill. Oh yeah, it's a volcano with a snow peak. Very cool. Looks like we have some broken up land. This looks almost... Every time I see this I think of like swamp terrain, but this is not quite that. Because if you notice, these are actually like hills out of the water. I don't think I've actually seen it generate this way. And you can see that snowy mountain in the background with the uh, snow that just kind of is only visible through the uh, fog layer. Blue rings. And as you can tell on one half of the atmosphere they are very visible and they kind of fade off on this side. And there's the star. And there's the cloud layer, actually a pretty decent altitude above the planet itself. And if we come over to this side of the planet, where it should be fading tonight any moment now. Check out that view, look at those hills. Those are some really cool looking mountains, like that one over there. Wow, this is actually a really amazing Terra. I have not actually seen anything like this. This, is, this one generated really well. And I may or may not use this as a thumbnail. Well, if I'm going to, I always have to turn up the uh, fraction spikes. There we go, now we have a super bright star there. But yeah, like I said, let's uh, continue on. Is this a hurricane? Yeah, it's a hurricane. Let's continue on to the dark side of the planet. Let's just land right here. And set, but we have these lovely bright rings, and you can see the Milky Way fading there into the background. That is really cool. So this would be a very awesome, like, kind of exoplanet if we could just teleport here magically in real life. Simply due to the fact that we'd be able to see our very own Milky Way up there in the sky. Oh, that's the small Magellanic cloud. No, it's a large one. We must be on the small one then. Yeah, so we have these lovely rings. You can see the ring system. And there is our moon, Selena there which is happily illuminating the back of this planet. The large Magellanic cloud and the Milky Way galaxy right there. Is that a nebula? I'll oh, check that out. And a nebula in the sky. Hello, nebula. Kinda cool looking. I like a pink and black cloud thing going on. Okay, so we have another one from Derp Sauce Gaming. Let's go ahead and visit that real quick. Let's 
see. So we have three planets with life. We have a Terra and two gas giants. Let's go ahead and check out the gas giants real quick. This one is some kind of coffee. It looks like it has a nice French vanilla creamer. Very cool. Aerial life. We have a gas giant here. Uh, this one looks like it's going to be more of like a uh, coffee with kind of a caramel creamer. So very cool. And then we have this Terra with life, which is what I assume he wanted me to visit. Oh, and this one kind of has a nice little uh, milk chocolatey look. Very cool. Let's go ahead and check this out. So the uh, atmosphere is very rich in carbon dioxide, so I assume this is kind of an early on planet, as the ones with the uh, kind of copper tint to the sky typically are. And we have some kind of detailed life textures over here. We have... What I could only assume is like moss on a rock, kind of just slapped into the game. I think that might be what that is. That or it's like moss on a forest floor. And I can't quite tell what this is. That might, that actually looks like a, like a hill in a desert and you have like those little tiny like plants all over the place. Like zoomed out and just like a large photo was taken of them. That's kind of what that looks like to me. And is that the same texture over here? This looks like the moss on the forest floor texture. We have that texture kind of just going in and out all the way out here pretty much. So let's go somewhere with some more unique views. Is this a cloud layer or is this? Okay, so we have a really low lying cloud layer. Like it's not very high altitude at all. So very interesting. That must mean the atmospheric pressure, yep, is pretty low. And over here we have, uh, again, it's actually generating these uh, layered kind of desert-ish like uh, textures, but this one's actually more white faded, so it looks more like granite or something, not like... Uh, you know, it's kind of got a, like a whitish texture though. It looks like granite that you would find like in the Rocky Mountains or like Sierra Nevada Mountains in California or something like that. Something something kind of like in the United States, but yeah, it looks it looks a lot like granite when it when you apply a white texture to it. But it still has the red layers going through it, so not sure. That's kind of cool looking. The way this one generated. All covered it in what I could only assume is... Actually, that's a... Oh, okay. It looks like that desert texture, just in a different color. Just trying to fool my eyes, but... I, I, I can tell. So, yeah. Very cool planet. Let's check out its composition real quick, just to... Uh, see what this actually consists of. We got a ring here, which... Actually has two shadows because we are actually next to a binary system, as you can tell. There are two stars there. So we have two shadows on this planet. Really cool. Which means we have two separated sunsets. Maybe? No, wait. The separated sunsets would only happen on one section of the planet because these are... No, they're top down. So if I'm here where there are two stars... It's still fairly lit up here. Let's go ahead and fly over here, where I think one is already set. Oh, there's still one in the sky. Over here. Okay, so one is just about to set. So if I keep flying back without running into things, because that just slows me back down, we can watch. Ah, damn. It's kind of a pain to control this. So one is set, which means we should only have one illuminating light. But I don't see any like defined layers where they cut off. It just seems like it's just bright until they're both set. Unless you have lens flare glitching through the planet. So yeah, we have our lovely lovely ring system with two layers. One showing that the uh, one of them is a yellow dwarf and one is a red orange dwarf. Okay. 
So they have two different colors to them. One's quite a bit dimmer, as you can tell. And yeah, it's just very cool. That's probably why they fade off so well. If it was like a blue one and a yellow one, they'd probably look completely different. Nonetheless, very cool planet. And like I said, let's see its composition. So yeah, let's see. That is 3% oxygen and 95% carbon dioxide. Bring that to Earth. I misspelled Earth. Earth has 20% oxygen and 77% nitrogen and barely any carbon dioxide. So this, this is rich with carbon dioxide. If we actually lived on this planet, we probably would not be able to survive. There's just not enough oxygen. Well, there is enough oxygen. There's just not enough. Uh... No, actually, no, there's not enough oxygen. We'd probably just pass out. And the carbon dioxide probably wouldn't be too good for us either. But since it is actually rich with CO2, it is perfectly fine for, let's say, plant life. So, yeah, very cool. Okay, so I've been asked by, this is not interesting to go to Chiriclo. Chiriclo? Chiriclo. That might be it. I think I'm pronouncing that right. That, 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 that looks like how it's spelt. But let's go ahead and visit that. That is an asteroid orbiting Earth. Or not Earth. The sun. Oh yeah. I've, I've, oh no, I have not actually seen this in the game, but I've heard of this. This is an asteroid with like a little tiny ring. An horrible itty bitty ring. Yeah, this is... Sorry for the jump cut. There was a truck pulling down a road. But yeah, it's an asteroid with a... Itty bitty ring. Let's see if we can just zoom into its tiny ring system. And there it is. It even has a tiny little separated ring right there. <laughs> so I assume there is like a little, like, handheld sized rock just orbiting through here, clearing out that little tiny section. Yeah, it's a it's a very cool asteroid. Yeah, I've I've, I've uh I haven't seen it in this game, but I've heard of this one, seen pictures of it and other stuff and. Yeah, it, it's a relatively popular asteroid, and if you want to visit yourself, I mean, it's right there. Let's get that off my screen. Well, uh, I had another request from This Is Not Interesting, but it's not actually loading up. I cannot find the ID it wants me to go to, which if I paste back in, it's right there. So, yeah, I can't get that to load, but uh, it looks like we're getting past 20 minutes anyways, so... If you guys like this video, please leave it a like, and if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe, and... Yeah, I, I greatly appreciate that I'm at 91 subscribers. That is absolutely amazing. But if we could actually hit 100 by today, I would, I would be fucking... My mind would be blown. But something tells me I'm probably going to hit it tomorrow at the rate that my subscribers have been climbing. But nonetheless, that is absolutely amazing. And uh, I do, I guess, have one more request. And that was to... That's not, what, that's not the planet I want to select. There it is. And that was just to visit Earth. I've already been here before. This is where it all started, but here is our lovely home planet. There's a night sky with the sun shining in the background. Anyways, yeah, if you guys like the video, leave it a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. It really does help. And, it, and it's just been increasing so fast. I mean, it's outstanding. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.